Metro Redux is not as much about people and about game systems as it is about place. It is a collection of two melancholy games, each of them crushed by the weight of a ruined earth. Both adventures allow you time to choke on their irradiated air, time that makes you wonder how the survivors of nuclear warfare find the will to carry on. In both Metro Last Light and in the refashioned Metro 2033, you scavenge for ammo in the Metro tunnels underneath an annihilated Moscow. There are pockets of humanity within these depths, but humans can prove just as deadly as the mutants that roam the underground. It's possible you might have filled the role of series hero Artyom and trudged through this thick misery before, but various improvements to Metro 2033 make it worth suffering again. 2033 almost feels like a new game, given the newly structured storytelling and a visual upgrade that raises it close to the bar Metro Last Light later set. A side-by-side -side comparison of the original and the remastered 2033 provides some striking differences in the way environments and monsters look, in the way characters look and move, and in the way you interact with the game. In some cases, I actually prefer the original vision to its replacement, such as in some of the creature designs, which were scarier before. But now objects cast proper shadows and beams of light no longer wash away the finer details, and characters don't stare with the same blank expressions. So stay clear of trouble. See the caravan to its destination and come home as soon as possible. You'd be harder pressed to find sweeping visual changes in Redux's version of Metro Last Light. It is the standard to which 2033 has been raised. The more meaningful difference here is the ability to apply 2033's more stringent supplies of gas masks and ammunition. Conversely, should you prefer Last Light's original balancing, you can apply it to 2033. In either case, choosing similar levels of challenge between the two games helps smooth their differences, making playing both games in succession a heartrending and rewarding experience that feels less like playing a game in its sequel and more like playing a single game that's been split into two units. Either way, the dangers of Metro Redux often prove terrifying. In both games, I remember the first time a winged demon soared in from above, grabbed me with its fearsome talons, and dropped me to the ground. This sudden loss of control is frightening, and the sight of the scorched earth beneath you evokes the perils of the surface. Clearly, Metro Redux owes as much of a debt to survival horror games as it does to shooters, since you spend as much time, if not more, soaking in the darkness as you do firing a weapon. When the action heats up, Metro Last Light's levels are more carefully constructed than 2033's, giving AI-controlled Nazis and Communists room to spread out and flank. In both games, however, I more enjoy the silent lurking, sneaking from one light source to another to plunge the area into darkness and then knifing soldiers one by one. Whether or not the AI is aware of your presence, it's certainly not the smartest you'll see. Enemies might stupidly rush around corners and right to their doom, and they're not always able to properly navigate the environment. <laughs> The people of the Metro speak in thick Russian accents, finding ways to amuse themselves when not confronting horrors. Some attempts to bring humanity to the shadows are sadly more laughable than they are compelling, such as a sequence in which you encounter and then carry a little boy who looks freakish in a way video game children so often do, and doesn't sound or talk like any child would. Thanks. Let's go. Then again, Metro Redux isn't really about any individual person as it is about the world these people are forced to live in. It's a place where you must fear both the hideous mutants that prowl as well as humankind. And yet it's only with humankind that you might find safety. It's the way you weave in and out of danger and the panic you feel when danger finds you that makes Metro Redux such an excellent tour through the best and worst of a society in ruins.
Mewa.